Tampa Bay right now. On now, we have Joy Winheim and Victoria Oliver from the Francis House. Thanks for being with us, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. So first, tell us, what is Francis House? Francis House is a small nonprofit in Tampa that provides supportive services to the HIV and AIDS um, clients of Tampa Bay. Okay, and so how did each of you get involved? Tell me a little bit about your stories. I kind of fell into working <laughs> with this population. Um, I moved down to Florida and could not find a job anywhere, and mm -hmm. someone referred me uh, to a substance abuse uh, treatment facility, and um, thankfully I got a job there, mm -hmm. and I started working with the HIV population, and uh, from, from minute one, I knew there was no other population that I wanted to work with. All right, and what about you? Pretty similar, except I was in the School of Social Work at USF, and uh, I knew that the HIV community was the community I wanted to work with. So I had been volunteering and interning at um, the Tampa AIDS Network, and they offered me a job, and I just kind of never left the community after that. <laughs> and so what are some of the services that the Francis House offers? We provide uh, anything and everything. Uh, our core services are support groups, medical and housing case management, mental health treatment, substance abuse, counseling. Mm -hmm. Uh, we do a, a daily meal. Actually, we do two daily meals. We do breakfast and lunch every day. We have a food pantry, emergency assistance. Uh, you name it, we can do it. That's wonderful. And so what would you say about this Francis House? What does it do for the community? I think we provide um, a supportive, mm -hmm. safe environment for our clients to come. There's not an agency. We're all, we all work together, but we're very different. And um, Francis House is kind of like a respite for the clients to come eat, share, go to support groups, see their case manager, and just get all of their needs met. So it's, it's, it's different, but at the same time, we're, we are meeting our mission and right. providing the needed service. Is so. there a specific age group that you guys target, or is it just kind of all across the board? I think it's all across the board. I, I, at one point, our youngest client was 15, and I believe our oldest client is 77. Wow, okay, so all across the all board. All across the board. <laughs> what are su some uh, success stories that you have coming out of here? Maybe some inspirational, something that maybe has touched you personally? We've been able to kind of expand our programs, and, and by doing that, we've seen our clients go from maybe someone who's been on the streets to now getting their own place, you know, learning how to make better life choices, um, just being able to take their medications, learn about their right. disease, and then you know, be a healthy individual, um, getting a job, those right. those things are just well, I think immeasurable. That's important too, like what you just said about like getting a job. I know um, I've even had some friends who, you know, tested positive for HIV and they feel like this is it, my mm -hmm. life is over, mm -hmm. it's a death sentence. And so it's important to get involved in places like Francis House, the, into the mm -hmm. community where you have people supporting you, that this isn't a death sentence. You know, this is a this is something that yes, you have to live with for the rest of right. your life. But you can hold a job, you can have a family, you can do all the things that you want to do. But it's about getting the support you need from other people in the community. Now, we're talking about you said taking medicine, the effects of HIV/AIDS. Can you tell us a little bit about that? What are some of the effects that you see some of these people come in with that you that you really need to help them with? I think uh, it's important to note, you know, everybody's different right. and that their regimen is different. So some people take one pill a day, some people take many pills. Mm -hmm. So it it's just runs the gamut, but you see people lose weight, become fatigued, um, depressed, you know, and, and some of the services that all these organizations together offer provide purpose, a mission for, you know, the client to become active, to learn about their treatment it's it's important i think all of our programs teach our clients how what the importance of your regimen taking your right. meds we've come from a place where people were so sick you know dying as soon as they heard to a place now where our clients can take their medications and have long lives productive you know so yeah and those I, are success and stories well and so. i love that we talk about we <laughs> use words like purpose and success even when we're talking about such mm -hmm. a serious subject because there, it isn't an, always a negative outcome. I mean, yes, right. this is something that you're going to have to deal with and that, you know, but I mean, something else could take your life much sooner before this disease could, so mm -hmm. it's not about giving up. Um, what would you say to the community? How can we get involved with Francis House? How can we help you, support you? You know, as with all 
nonprofits uh, in our economy, everybody needs help. And uh, one of the things that we make sure that we let people know is it's not just money that we need help with. Mm -hmm. We need uh, your time, um, your talents, um, whatever it is that you can donate, food for our food pantry. And uh, at Francis House, we, we let anybody help. So yeah. all you have to do is give us a call and uh, our volunteer application is uh, not very long. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we just try to fit you in where you wanna help. Um, and we've been very, very lucky that our clients uh, do a lot of work for us. And our front desk secretary uh, is a full-time client volunteer, 40 wow. hours a week, every week, and she's been doing it for three years. That's amazing. Uh, and we have a cook in our kitchen who is a full-time client volunteer and works 40 hours a week, every week. Uh, so we, we've had amazing uh, opportunities for the clients to also give back, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it just changes their life. Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, I love. I'm gonna say it five times. We're <laughs> giving people purpose, and so thank you both for sharing your story, for sharing the information thank about you. Francis House, and I hope we're all get out, get out there and support you guys. So thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Coming up next, I will be speaking with members of the Metro Wellness and Community Center. Don't go away.